Surface plasmons are waves that propagate along the surface of metallic and certain dielectric materials. The electric field of a plasmon wave reaches its maximum at the surface and decays evanescently away from the surface. Let's first take a look at a silver slab waveguide using OptiFDTD. This will allow us to see the surface wave propagation as well as the surface plasmon mode. First we're going to double click the input plane and select the 2D transverse tab. Let's click Find Modes to see which modes are able to propagate on the silver slab. Under the Waveguides tab, select the checkbox and click Calculate Mode. After it is finished, select the checkbox again to see the graph of the mode and effective modal index. Now let's use this mode to propagate along our silver slab by clicking Apply Data. We can now begin the simulation. Select Simulation, 2D 32-bit simulation, and click Run. The simulation shows the propagation of the dynamic wave. Here we can see our mode propagating along the surface. You'll also notice that the wave decays exponentially away from the silver and it attenuates rapidly within it. Once the simulation has completed, click OK to open up the Opti FDTD analyzer. Now we can analyze the steady state response in the entire simulation domain. Using additional tools, we can also measure the wave decay in both the transverse and propagation directions. Jumping over, we'll take a look at the pointing vector, which allows us to measure the polarization and power intensity. Now we will view a gold bow tie antenna in both 2D and 3D. If we run the simulation, we will obtain the following results. In this case, we can see the field enhancement and surface plasmon resonance. In this next design, we will analyze a sub-wavelength aperture. The layout contains gold film on top of a substrate layer. The gold film is etched with a periodic rectangular pattern which penetrates the entire thickness. Because we have a periodic layout and an initial wave, normal to the surface, we can simplify the simulation to a single unit cell. Let's go to the scripting tab, where you can see we've used Visual Basic Scripting to set up six iterations within the simulation. The aperture sizes have been set to vary between 148 and 266 nanometers. To run the simulation, select Simulation, 3D using 64-bit, and click Run. Once the iterations have finished calculating, we can obtain the following power transmission spectrums for each aperture size. 